socialism in europe and the russian revolution in this topic we are going to learn about socialism in europe and the russian revolution after the october europe was totally changed bolsheviks were totally opposing private property at the time industries and banks were nationalized the government took over ownership and management the bolshevik party was renamed as russian communist party bolshevik in november 1917 the bolsheviks conducted the elections to the constituent assembly but they failed to gain majority and support Russia became a one party state trade unions are under the party's control young writers and artists rallied to the party the civil war the leaders moved to south russia and organized troops to fight with the bolsheviks the reds the greens socialist revolutionaries and the whites pro tsarist controlling of the russian empire bolsheviks were backed by french american british and japanese troops all the forces who were worried at the growth of socialism in russia the bolsheviks got success due to cooperation with non-russian nationalists and muslims jihadists in kiva the part of central asia bolshevik colonists brutally massacred local nationalists in the name of defending socialism making a socialist society at the time of the civil war The Bolsheviks kept industries and banks nationalized. They gave permission to peasants to cultivate their land. A process of centralized planning was introduced in Russia. Centralized planning led to economic growth. Industrial production increased between 1929 and 1933 by 100% in the case of oil. coal and steel new factory cities came into being schooling system was well developed for women they were also supported by their families cheap public health care centers were built living quarters were set up for workers stalinism and collectivization in 1927 to 1928 the towns in soviet russia were facing an acute problem of grain supplies the government fixed prices at which grain must be sold the peasants refused to sell their grain to government buyers at these prices in 1928 party members toured the grain producing areas and supervised the grain producing areas as shortages were more the decision was taken to collectivize farms means to use farms collectively two or more farmers used the same land from 1929 The party forced all peasants to cultivate in collective farms kolkhoz the bulk of land and implements were transferred to the ownership of collective farms Stalin's government allowed some independent cultivation but treated such cultivators unsympathetically In 
over 2 million were in prisons or labor camps. In the next topic, we will learn about the global influence of the Russian Revolution and USSR. That's all in this topic. Keep learning.